Welcome back to Robert's Reviews. Today is day number five of the series where I give you movies that I care about and I really enjoy and have kind of influenced me as a person. And today we have a really special movie. Um, this movie my brother made me watch. And I remember it quite clearly when I watched this. So I was interested because of Jim Carrey. I, I probably should just do the intro first. We're, we're going to be talking about the eternal sunshine of the spotless mind. The Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind was made in 2004, and here is my story as to how I came across this movie and why it is so great. So, I don't remember when I watched it. I was probably maybe 13 or 14. I had a tablet, and I can't remember when I got my tablet, but I was young. It was like the first piece of technology that I was allowed to have independently. And it was a small tablet, and it pretty much only had Netflix and games on it. And my brother... Um, watched this movie, and he told me I really needed to watch it, and so I listened to him, and I did. I, li I watch everything he recommends to me. Um, there's actually a list somewhere in my brain, and maybe even on my phone, of movies that just he has told me to watch. I will be watching Watchmen at some point, not the movie. I've seen the movie. The movie's great, but the show, I will be reviewing that show at some point within the next probably month or two because he recommended it to me, and I have to watch it. I've been, I'm not really like procrastinating, I just keep forgetting that it exists, so I have to do that. I really do have to focus on doing that, which I will, and I'm very excited for. But, I watched this movie on my tiny little tablet, and I remember this because I was in my room, and I was watching it, and Mom got mad at me, and so she called me down, she's like, you need to go eat dinner, and I'm like, I'm watching a movie, I really don't want to stop watching the movie, so I sat down at the dinner table with my tablet, and my mom got mad, she's like, yeah, there's a tablet at the table, I told you I was I'm watching a movie. So then I went to the living room and I sat in a folding chair and I finished the movie before I ate my dinner. And this movie was fan-freaking-tastic. To those of you who think you know Jim Carrey, haha, <laughs> you're very funny. Um, Jim Carrey, as funny as he is and as good as he is in comedy roles, he is also an extremely talented dramatic character actor. Such as in this movie and in the TV show Kidding. I have seen the first season of Kidding and I really enjoyed it. I haven't watched the second season yet because I need to watch the first season again. I'm hoping to do that at some point, but again, I have so many requests I want to get through first. So after I get through the entire MCU, which will probably be like, you know, in like three or four years, then we'll do that. But what I'm trying to get out here is Jim Carrey is a phenomenal actor, both in comedy and not in comedy. And arguably, I think his drama is better than his comedy. Similarly to Steve Carell in the fact that Steve Carell is just really, really good. If you want me to do a series on just Jim Carrey movies, Drop that in the comments below, and I'll watch every Jim Carrey movie in order, and I'll share with you my thoughts. That's going to be a lot of movies, but eventually, I want to watch them anyway, so. Inevitably, this is just helping me become more of a well-rounded person, so thank you, viewers of my channel. So, what happened to this movie, essentially, is Jim Carrey's character and Caitlin Winslow's character are dating, and eventually, it kind of breaks up and ends up poorly. So Clementine ends up going to this weird place that is scientifically removing memories of him from her. He finds out and then goes to get his memories erased of her. And then there's this weird, like, times weird thing. It really is just, it's so beautiful. It is a beautifully well done movie. I wish I could explain it better, but I can't. I literally, I really just can't. To those of you who are interested in watching this movie, um, Cody, I don't know if I will have told you to watch this by now, but... If you're watching this and you haven't watched it, go watch it. It's on Netflix, I think. So, really, you just have no excuse not to watch it, everybody. It is such a good movie. It is heartwarming. It's funny at times. It's entertaining the whole way through. And it's also just so sad. Like, I never thought that I would watch a Jim Carrey movie and be like, oh my god, I'm so sad inside. But, like, he really had... I don't know what it is. He's just so good. At that, like, at portraying sad and depressed and lonely. And I wish we had more of that from Jim Carrey. Because all this funny stuff is really funny. Like, Liar Liar almost made this top eight list. I bumped it off for Hacksaw Ridge, actually. Um, because I had forgotten about it and I was thinking about it. And then late at night, I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't put Hacksaw Ridge in the... Oh, I was so mad. But anyway. <sighs> Again, Jim Carrey's movies are, are hilarious. And they can be, you know, you can learn from them. And all that kind of stuff. It's really, really great. But... His drama is unmatched by almost anyone. It is unbelievable how good he does in this film. I guess I'm talking about the acting. Jim Carrey plays Joel. And Joel is a sad guy who finds this girl 
that he really likes and really elevates him to a better person. And they have like one fight and then she calls it and then she gets rid of his memories. And it starts as a loop pretty much of erasing memories and reliving memories. And, you know, Joel realizing that he doesn't want to lose Clementine. So he tries to stop erasing his memories. It really is just a chaotic, wonderful piece of film. Um, I really do recommend you watch this movie. It really is. It's just so good. Jim Carrey is wonderful in this movie. Really, I just I can't express enough how awesome he is in this movie. Kate Winslet plays Clementine. And Clementine is an interesting character as well because she's wild and sporadic and just a really overall really interesting character because she's such the opposite of Joel. It really is a whoop, whoop, whoop. Also, Kate Winslet usually plays serious roles and like not generally funny roles, whereas Jim Carrey only usually plays really crazy roles. So it really is cool because they switch swapped, you know? It was really, really cool to see how that worked because honestly, I didn't know that Jim Carrey could do drama until this moment. And it really was cool to see that switch. And Kate Winslet was amazing. There's some actors that are in this movie that I thought I should mention because you'll see them and be like, why didn't you mention that? Elijah Wood, Mark Ruffalo, and Kirsten Dunst are all in this movie as well. Um, they're good in this movie. They're all fantastic. They're just they're not big enough characters for me to want to talk about right now. I could talk about this movie for about three hours because there's so many cool plot holes and stuff like that. But not plot holes, but plot side plots and stuff. Really cool stuff. And you should just watch the movie and let me know what you think because really it's just it's so much. Just take two hours out of your day and watch this movie. It really, really is great. I don't think I mentioned this movie was directed by Michael Gondry and written by. Sorry, written by Charlie Kaufman. I don't think I mentioned that. So, you should watch this movie. It really is good. This video is going to be a little shorter. I, all, I also accidentally stopped the video at some point, so I have to go back and reshoot all that. That'll be interesting. So, with that being said, this movie is an A plus for sure. It is just so phenomenal. It is such a good movie. There is nothing better than this movie. That's not true. There, there are actually um, precisely, I think, three better movies than this, um, in my mind. Um... This movie is just so good. You have to go watch it. It's on Netflix. Why are you waiting for it? Go watch it. It's on Netflix. Um, I do have a Twitter, Instagram, and a Facebook. Uh, so reach out on those platforms. Comment what you want me to see next and review. And uh, subscribe. Like the video. You need to subscribe. Everyone needs to subscribe. I don't get why you're not subscribed. With that, keep watching films. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day, everybody.